Uh, hey, what's up? It's Crash Bandicoot, and um, today I'm providing commentary on why I'm homophobic. And you may think that that's horrible, and you might say, Oh my god, Crash, you can't say that. I'm gonna cancel you to expose my belief, my strong belief in why I think you're wrong. Well, hold on for a second. Keep your pants on and your underwear, and let me explain for a second. You see, I think about the word, you fucking moron. It's homophobic. If you hate something, you're not afraid of it. You just hate it. And see, I'm homophobic because I'm fucking scared of gay people. And I'm not scared because they're different. I'm scared of what they're going to do to me. Like, I heard in, I heard about this one story about this guy who, like, misgendered this trans kid. And he got fucking dogpiled. And I don't even think it was, like, on purpose in spite of the trans kid. I think he just made a mistake or he just didn't even know. And he got fucking... He got shat on. He got fucking beaten to a pulp. No mercy. And I, I, I like to, just to, you know, just I like to believe the facts. I like to believe, you know. Here, here comes the whole it's biology statement. But I, I like to believe in those things because it's proven facts in the, in the, in the lab and in, in their secret sex lab where they have a bunch of specimens. That they use for their own private testing and torment and pleasure. And I I believe that there are only two genders. You, I mean, I'm not going to shit on you for believing there are more. But I personally believe there are only two. There's two. There are two of them. You're either a guy or a girl. I'm sorry. You know, you can shit on me all you want for thinking that. But also know that if you think you're a third gender, that's fantastic. I don't care. And is is just you got people saying that they're like a Z Zer or whatever. It's like, what are you a fucking xenomorph? Are you gonna have like a little miniature you come out of your mouth and rip me a new dick hole? That makes no fucking sense. Like, what what is that? What is Z Zer? I guess I can understand they them because you don't identify with either of them. But a whole fucking new custom gender. God damn! Come on, guys. You know it's it's like you're being born, and you got the fucking Skyrim character creator menu going on. That's just not possible, you know, either choose between a guy or a girl, and, and I guess none if you don't like any of them, but I don't know, I, it just it just doesn't make sense to me, and I'm afraid of things I don't understand, just like everyone else is. I just don't get it, I don't understand, I just, I, I don't get how it works, and you got all these people just making up all these new genders and shit, and it's hard for me to keep up. I like to respect people and their identity because it's basic human decency, but it's really fucking hard when you make up all this dumb shit. Like, I feel like, I feel like you would go to like a something awful forum, and you would do that thing where you like make up your own universe, like the the Flesh Pit National Park and that whole thing. And I feel like I could write my own alternate universe which is all the terms and genders that the lgbt people come up with and it's just hard and i i hate it when people just fucking sh bash on people for just messing up you know oh you misgendered them or you don't know what the scrimbla boobla gender is and it's like no shit i don't because i'm not I'm not whatever that fucking shit is, uh, you know. I'm a guy. I'm a straight. I'm a. I'm a straight white man. I'm sorry, you know. I don't understand. I just don't understand it. And you know, I say instead of fucking shitting on someone and doxing them and fucking their cat when they're asleep, maybe instead of doing that, you just politely correct them. And now I'm not saying that no one corrects them, but you should never beat up someone for misgendering. And of course, that's just one extreme example, but I still see other extreme examples of someone getting totally owned by the gay people for getting their correct sexuality or gender wrong. I just, I don't understand it at all. I, 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 don't, I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. I just don't understand. It just makes no sense to me how you can make up all this shit and expect us to keep up. Listen, man, I'm just trying to live my life. You know, you can live yours too, you know, but you're going to have to cut me some slack since I don't have the same lifestyle as you. You're going to have to cut me some slack. And on topic of this, uh, what I, this just reminds you of just Twitter, you know, duh, oh no, if evil funny birds say, 
and uh, all on the topic of that, people always talk about, Ugh, I hate Twitter. Twitter's so gross. And then, well, then why do you still fucking use it? And, like, people always talk about how fucking dog shit Twitter is. But honestly, Twitter's not that bad if you're not a fucking idiot. Just avoid the bad accounts and you'll be fine. I just look at art and memes on there and I have a pretty good time. There are some good artists out there. People always just say, Twitter is so bad when they see one guy posting obvious bait. And it's like, well, yeah, no shit, it's bad. You think it's bad because you're a fucking, you're just, you're a gullible idiot, I guess. Or you just seek problematic people. You know, it's not bad if you don't make it bad. You know? And sure, you know, I'm sure a good portion of it is bad. But you know the the classic saying or whatever, and stereotyping or whatever, like with furries or the Sonic bitches. You know, where they'll be like, oh, all the furries do is look at porn. And all Sonic fans do is make shitty recover characters. And says, I don't care about any of that shit. You do you. But you, you get you can't just keep stereotyping without thinking it. Like, yeah, most of Twitter's fucking pretty bad, but not all of it. And I'm not trying to be some Twitter Wi-Fi warrior, because honestly, I don't give a shit. I just look at fucking art. But I'm just so tired of people being like, hey, I'm so cool because I hate Twitter. Like, okay, well, then get in line, fucking idiot. Everyone hates Twitter. And they just they just don't think, you know? It's only bad if you make it bad. So honestly, if you hate Twitter, you know, of course, you can have a good reason to hate it. But people will just say, I hate Twitter 30 times a day and make it their entire personality. Without giving any reason behind it, like okay, well, why? What do you? What, what's wrong? You know, what's wrong? Like it ain't, it ain't perfect, and I hate most of it except for literally just art and memes. But I, 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 I understand. But why? And people just they never say anything. They're just like, oh, I just hate Twitter because you know everyone says they hate Twitter, and it's like, then you're not a fucking corporate robot. Make your own opinion, you stupid fucking idiot. Make your own opinion. Think about it. And I mean, we somehow got off topic from you know the 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 gay zone, the gay people. I thought I just it just resurfaced that I'm homophobic, but not the bad homophobic. I'm just afraid of fucking up in front of the LGBTQ plus RSTV, the XYZ people, and just getting fucked for it. So, you know, it got that going for me, I guess.